Good evening, ladies and gentlemen. Good evening to all the Ambazonians on Ground Zero. Good evening to all those who are in captivity in the Republic of Cameroon. Good evening to all the refugees in the asylum camps in Nigeria. I say good evening to all those who are in the forest. May God bless all of you there that you should be safe until we have our independence. Good evening to our able self-defense forces on ground zero. Good evening to all the ADF forces, the Tigers, you know, the Red Dragons of Lebialem, powerful forces, and the rest of the forces, all the forces, even this, the household to household, neighborhood to neighborhood forces, the, you know, the Abaza, Abazunia forces. Yes, this is Prince Ayamba again, Mr. Hopes. Is up again to enlighten you on the happenings and how the, we hope that this struggle should be going because there are so many, you know, species that I'll put in order to hear so that we can gather ideas on how this struggle is supposed to be by specialists, you know, and also we'll talk about some happenings, you know, and certain things to take precautions. Then before I start, I would like to first of all, you know, give you some of the headlines of what we have to discuss today. We will start with a speech. I'll first start with a speech, I will give you some, you know, don't talk a bit about the refugee. The refugee who died, again, because I ended it halfway. My last video did not get finished the way I planned it. So I'll talk about the refugee who were poisoned in Nigeria. I will also talk a small, just small short talk to put the small audio you hear about the Chadian who confirms he confirms the, the Amazonia boys, the fighters. I will also talk about immediate happenings now in Barombikan. Also about the, the, the news that reached me, you know, on the 28th of July 2018 concerning the the boys there in Bameda, you know, who attacked the prison. We'll also talk certain things concerning, you know, the successes of the ADF. One of our greatest topic will be about the, the big head foolish mayor of Boya, Ekema Patrick. We will also talk, I also throw some lights, I bring you the letter. The letter which I I supposed to, you know, read it last in my last video, but since um, time cut me short, I will read the letter today, the letter of um, uh, Able First Lady, First Lady, Madame Lilian Ayuktabe, who wrote to the Secretary General of the United Nations, an open letter. I will read the content of the letter so that at least we will hear what she said. And I will bring some reasons to stop candidate to me. It is AAC3. Okay. So to begin with, let me just give you some of the latest information that is reaching us so that if there is a possibility, people could send reinforcement. News just reaching, reaching me just now, the first, the first of August 2018 at 9.15 p.m. here in Paris, that the Amber Camp, the Amber Boys Camp in Barobi Camp has been attacked, as I'm saying now. So if there's any person who is having the possibility to alert the other, you know, fighters to come and help, has been attacked by the B Boys, the evil forces of the Republic Cameroon B. Please, self-defense forces, you pull, if you can help, you can help. You just rush and see about it. That is in Barobi camp. There is a, a serious fight going on now. 
Because they say everybody's running. Everybody's running in Barombi camp. There is a serious fighting going on now, as I'm saying. It's 9 9 15 in Barombi camp in Kumba. Please try and rush and help if there's a possibility. Send the message very fast. Okay. Also, there is one Chadian army. Ibrahim, who is confused, as many of the Chadians are also confused armies who are there on ground zero fighting on the side of the Republic of Cameroon. He says he's confused. He don't know if he has to run. He don't even know what to do because he know he will die. He said, because the way the Amber boys are very, very strong, that he has never seen a force like that. That he knows he will die. He doesn't even know what to do. That every day they're just killing the Chadians, killing the Chadians. He said the tiger, the red dragons, the tigers, the ADF, the Ambassador boys, the Amazonia boys are very, 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 very strong. That he has never seen this type of this kind type of forces. So congratulations to the Ambassador boys. Let me put the audio so that you can hear. Please, one minute. Ibrahim, là où je suis maintenant, je ne sais pas que je vais retourner au Tchad. Hein? Je ne sais pas que je vais retourner au Tchad. Les Camerounais, les anglophones Camerounais sont très forts. Ils sont très forts. Je ne sais pas que si je vais retourner au Tchad. Parce que ils ont tué beaucoup. Ils ont tué nous, Tchadiens, beaucoup. Il y a Red Dragon. Red Dragon, il y a aussi Tigre, ADF, ADF, Abazonia, Abazonia, ce sont des Abazoniens qui nous ont tués, ce sont des Abazoniens, ils sont très très forts, ah, ils sont très très forts, ben, Ibrahim, tu salue mon frère là-bas qui, wow. Je ne sais pas ce que je vais faire pour le retourner au Tchad. Si je vais mourir ici, bye bye Ibrahim. Je ne sais pas ce que je vais faire. Je vais faire des Tchadiens. Il dit qu'il ne sait pas comment revenir. Il est confus. Ils ont tué tous les Tchadiens qui sont là sur le terrain zéro. Les gars sont très forts. Congratulations aux grandes forces. We will pray and we will try and do all possible means to stand down, you know, anything you can send in order to keep your people in good form. Okay, that, that was it for the Chadian. Okay. I come to the refugees. We had earlier said and we have been crying and begging that this struggle is not a struggle that we would like people to be dying. So we really begged the refugees and all the Amazonians not to be taking these gifts from the Republic because they are trying to wipe us all up out of our land so that they can own the land and see what happened now in Nigeria you know eight Southern Cameroonians refugees of one home had been confirmed dead this happened on the on the 28th of July. That was on Sunday. But I made it, I started it on my other video, but I don't decided I cut it. I just finished the, the program and it ended halfway. So I decided to take it all over. 28th of July 2018 it was on Sunday. This has been confirmed. It was at a cock. All the eggs in one home died. Because they are eating the humanitarian aid that have been sent to them. I don't know how much it reaches them. Yes, they are they ate it and all of them died. All of them died, they have been poisoned. You know, presently the, the cops are all in the mortuary. Cops are all in the mortuary. That is just speculation also that they have been poisoned because they ate after eating, they died. The, their SIM cards were even removed all inside their their phones. You see, I see the person who poisoned them, remove the SIM card. 
All the SIM cards on inside the phone were removed so that they cannot chase out what happened. Please, we are begging, we are begging, we are begging all the Ambazonians to stop no working with the Republic because they are, they are having all the, they are looking for all means to eliminate us. Don't listen to them. Don't take their food. Don't take anything from them. You see that the result? Eight people dead like that. And fortunate that the, the block, even if the humanitarian aid went as Pope there was planned that should go, perhaps all of them would have died. Let me just show you a picture and a short video. These are pictures when they were eating. That is a picture when they were eating comfortably. They brought them, they gave them everything drinks, wine, everything. These are pictures. Pictures when they were eating. Yes. These are the cops. These are the cops. All of them died. Eight. Eight in number. All of them died. That is the cops. The cops are of the, the refugees in Nigeria. And they come. That is one of the cops. They were trying to move the cops. They were trying to move the cops out of the, the house. They were removing the cops out of the house where they were killed. International bodies. International bodies who see this and know that they have started killing our refugees. They have started killing our refugees in Nigeria. International bodies, United Nations, should intervene and find out what happened because they have started killing our refugees in Nigeria. The Republic is a very wicked government, struggling to work with Buhari to eliminate our refugees gradually. Please, United Nations, do something. Okay, news also, news come, came to our next, my next, that, um, on the 28th still, the prison, the, the prison, Sunday the 28th of July 2018, was burned down by the Amber Boys. They attacked and killed two warders, office, 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 officers. Scores of arms were taken and all prisoners freed. When some sources says there were 500 prisoners that were freed. Other says it is 168 prisoners that were free. And you know, the boys are crying that they need more granites. They are shooting of granites. This is a very, very great victory for the Amber Boys. All the prisoners should join and fight for the independence now. So that we can free our land. God is great. Also, there's, this is urgent also. Urgent, urgent, please. The ASAP and the GMI police station in Bamenda is keeping new military men disguised in civilian dresses. And they, 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 they have beers on like mad people. They have beers on like mad people. That means that even these guys with BS, like mad, mad people, moving around the town with 
you know, ladies, this lady, lady bikes, you know, lady mobile bikes, they are moving around the town, well armed with pistol guns, pistolet guns, they are well armed with pistolet guns. Spread the, this message, <coughs> excuse me, please spread this message to save lives. Send the message to the Amber Fighters. The same men are also be, are also have also been sent also. The same type of men have also been sent to the southwest. So people should be alert. If you see any francophone man behaving like a madman, it's a security. That is how it, it, it is even happening here in France. Mad people here they behave as mad people better. They are security. Okay, please, I'm begging you people to send a message. So my message should go as wide as possible. Those who have their brothers back home, they can call also. Call them, call them and give them inform information. Other good news. ADF has succeeded. Or ADF has successfully ambushed. Yesterday, the 31st of of July 2018, ambush a pickup truck carrying terrorists. The Republic forces patrolling the village of Kikaki Laki, Kikaki Laki, also known as K4 in Kumbo. Two terrorists were confirmed dead. Several appear lifeless while a host of the order were severely wounded and have been rushed to the, the hospital. Thank you very much. Thank you very much, ADF, for doing this great job in Kumbo. Yesterday, also the 30, 31st of July, in Boya, young innocent boys were slaughtered. In Boya, young innocent, innocent boys were slaughtered like pigs by the regime of Pobia's army. The only way the boys could be safe is by joining the freedom fighters and free their homeland. Four young boys killed I extend my sympathy to the bereaved families. And I know all this is the work of Ekema Patrick. Because he is there in Boya, only trying to see that the young people should be killed. Also, I will extend my thanks, great thanks, to the ambassador, Mahmoud Adam Jama, former ambassador to Ethiopia, former minister, former state minister of planning, former state minister of health. Republic of Somali, Somaliland, for having standing with the Amazonians, condemning the genocide going on in Amazonland. Say, we the Amazonians, we appreciate your attitude, and we pray that you have long life. We we'll also pray for your family. Okay, we continue. We continue. I will now put 
a certain audio so that people should listen should be listening to it the ig should listen to it the self-defense forces should listen to it the ambazonians should listen to it all the leaders of the various groups should listen to it this is a an audio that guides the struggle what can be the outcome of the struggle and what are the means that we can take to win our independence because this audio is being made by professionals who are always concerned with independence so the audio gives us advice on how to go about this you know this struggle in order to be successful because the audio the specialists have bought in the foreign world have seen have seen and know what the republic is aiming to do so they are giving us advice and telling us what to do and telling us what not to do in order to achieve our independence and if we don't follow it we will never achieve independence and it tells us the consequences of not achieving this independence so this audio should be taken very very serious and all what is inside this audio should be followed up in a very serious you know way and we will have the independence so it is you know an audio by anonymous these are people who are specialized in you know freedom fighters or countries which are fighting for their independence so let me just put the the, the audio then with time i will be you know stopping the audio to enlighten some people concerning concerning what the speech is saying world we are anonymous we do not forgive we do not forget expect us hello ambassadors we are anonymous we have been watching you we know your cry we see the carnage meted on your people by the republic of cameroon the french cameroon two years ago we sent warning to the young government the time to act is now we are anonymous and we mean business before we continue, we need you all to listen to this. It is very important for you and your generation to come to win this war and restore your statehood. We have uncovered a very serious plot against the Southern Cameroons by the World Trade Organizations, the United Nations Administration and France. You must take the necessary action to reverse this as soon as possible. Your revolution has been deemed fractured. Worldwide Global Investors Conference held last year 2017. We got documents from highly encrypted servers showing all the natural minerals found in the southern Cameroons have been marked as reserved. This means your revolution will not get any support from foreign government or international investors with interest to benefit from your natural resources anytime soon. This is because your revolutions have been fractured by having multiple factions fighting in fierce disagreement over everything. This is not your fault. The French engineered this to happen. Because when foreign investors feel insecure no one will fund your revolution. 
They are afraid their investment okay, to help regain independence will not be appreciated and they will not be able to trade with your new country safely. For okay, I will stop and explain a bit. You know, the video is saying that we are fighting for our independence and uh, there are great obstacles because since back in 2017 the the world investment conference that took place documents were, were brought down to show that there are a lot of you know minerals in Abazonia and these minerals have been blocked by the Republic of Cameroon and French government as a reserve for them. So investors are afraid to step in and help us in this struggle because they fear that they might not gain anything from the the natural resources, the wealth of the Ambazonia. So the furthermore said the cost is a good cost, but there are fractions now in the struggle. But, but that this is not our fault, it is the fault of the Republic of Cameroon and France who are creating those fractions in order to destabilize, destabilize our struggle. So we should take time. Because no country would like to come and invest in, in our country if after the independence even there's a breakout of war, civil war again or division between us. He continues with the with the speech. But this speech is a speech of hope and a speech of showing us the direction how to go in this struggle. From experience, there will be infighting among different groups who controls what or who controls which region after independence which is also not possible from what we have uncovered. This is a very big twist in your efforts to win over your country. You can fight as guerrillas. Perfect approach. But five years with this strategy alone will not sustain the revolution. We have seen your campaign to raise funds. Good initiative, but I'm sorry no revolution has ever succeeded without secret foreign investors pumping in cash, weapons and intel. If by now you don't have anyone approaching you or providing you support, then you are fighting a strenuous battle. You must unite with one voice, one army, one people. Okay. If what I say is that if after independence, we are separated. We start fighting each other. It will not be a good thing because investors will not like that. Type of that is why many investors are now just standing and looking. They cannot invest in the, in the war. That they, they have seen that, you know, we are raising monies to support buy arms for the, you know, for the self defense forces. That two thousand, two thousand or two million dollars is no money. That, that, the money cannot be enough. That we need foreign investors who will come and help us. Foreign investors who will come and help us. And the only thing to do before we capture the foreign investors is to have unity. Is to have unity among the leaders, unity of purpose, unity on the ground. Unity among the self forces. Let, let's, let's forget about leadership. Thinking all about leadership. Let's come, you know, think on uni unity. We'll see. People separate command structures. Each faction maintains their battalions and command structures, but share intel and provide backups. You must work together. Stop fighting. 
We see you do exactly what your occupiers wants to see happen. Your French occupier is happy and relax. Knowing fully well your pocket will soon run dry. Your fight will soon turn to frustration and your land will be taken over. We have seen plans from them the chiefs to erase you from history going forward. They will chase you out from your strategic rich regions and de- Okay. It for us is. That's, you know, if we are divided as we are now, that is what like Popley wanted. They are happy when they say like that. That they are just waiting that we don't have enough money that very soon we'll be frustrated. Go, our money will get finished. They are very rich. Like Popley is rich. He will never get finished. Even if it's five years, that job is there. They know that very soon our money will get finished. They will, you know, some people will start trying to sell the, the struggle. Some people on the ground zero will try to sell the struggle. This is just what he's saying that if it happens, not that he's giving a conclusion, but he's saying that that's what will happen if we don't take time. So it's, he will give, furthermore, he will give us that advices how to do. Okay, let me continue. Because he says even that they're struggling to wipe off from the map in order to own our land and our resources. And if they, if it is five years time, they will only, the, and the people will only be the president of our heart, Hada or will be frustrated. But I am praying that we will never be frustrated in this fight. Because even for that, for that more said, if we are frustrated and we, the fight ends like that, many people will run to Nigeria. And the rest that remain, they will kill all of them. And what he's saying is the truth. So we should have it in our minds that we will never give up this fight. We will never give up this fight unless follow it, the instruction of which this anonymous they are giving. Employ their people to occupy these lands. You cannot stop fighting. You will never stop fighting. France is ready for you. Even if you stop and surrender, the enemy will continue killing you. 70% will run to neighboring Nigeria. The French people will inherit your land. Everything you see now is to exhaust you. They have not stated. They will start when you slow down. They have massive budget to cripple your revolution. Go now, go now, my ambassadors. Okay. They said, he is saying that France are doing now everything only to frustrate us. They, that is like Republic and France. They are doing everything only to frustrate us. That they have not even started the war. They are just, you know, struggling to frustrate us that with time, they will start the real war against us. Because not that very soon we will be frustrated. So we should go now and look for investors. Look for foreign countries who should come and help us. And to get these investors, we have to unite. Say everything in one direction. Speak one word. Everything under one command. He even further more said that the, the revolution is me even is, is just even having grounds now. It's just because of the ground forces. They are the only people holding the revolution. No other people. They are the people holding the revolution. And they need granos, just granos. Very soon, those granos will get finished. Because they said, he is saying that the, the granos, even, and even the, the ammunition that they are using is very archaic. That we should go in for foreign investors. And let's unite to show the world that we are, we are in unity. Foreign investors, they will come in. Because the foreign investors, they are waiting. They are waiting to see that. Folks, organize a unity conference. Invite all leaders. But do not get your leader to seat in one place. A virtual conference that includes all leader of... This is important. He said they should, we should go in for a unity conference. Invite all leaders. But we should not accept the leaders to sit on one place because he knows the consequences. If the leaders sit on one place, all of them can be arrested. That is what he's saying. Special, specialists really say like this. Specialists is their work. Your revolution. Get the world to see this happen. 
They must start talking. They must speak one language. They must approach foreign power together. They must also start approaching international corporations together. Let all the leaders of different factions shake hands. Keep your ideologies aside. Work together, speak one voice. All the leaders should keep their ideologies aside. Work together, speak one voice, shake hands. All of them visit international, you know, bodies together and speak one, one voice. That is when the revolution will take a, a good direction. Now we are fighting. The Republic is just there looking. In their own mentality, very soon we will be frustrated. But we know we will never get frustrated. We will fight and fight and fight till they kill everybody. But this is a very good advice uh, uh, the Ozo is giving us. Send letters to all the corporations out there willing and waiting to see you in it. You must speak with one voice. Forget having the government. Forget having defense groups. You have already been labeled fractured. Your wealth has been confirmed reserved. So, you can fight and kill each other. Until there is calm in that region, no trade deals are expected to take place in the next 20 years. If the French Cameroon defeats you, or you of little funding, they will resume trading your natural resource. So you need investors. You need investors from Africa, Middle East, Asia, Europe and the United States. Ambassania is rich. With one is get investors to help you flush out the French occupier. We are anonymous. We bring... We need investors. Ambazona is rich, that is what he's saying. Investors from Africa, Asia, America, and the rest to come and help us flush out the French from our land. Ambazona is rich. Because if this investor does not come in to give us aid with very good machine guns and everything, we will not send our public all out of our land because they have the equipment and they are prepared to stay as long as we are there also to fight. So that is what the Ojo is saying, we'll continue, please. These secret informations not meant for an ordinary man to see. We let you know the truth and the truth shall set you free. Ambassadors is fractured. Ambassadors has no money to fight the occupier. Only your foot soldiers are keeping your revolution active. You give them peanuts. What is two million dollars? You give them peanuts. Hungary will transform them to warlords. Many will start selling the struggle, dishing out intel to the French army for money. You give them primitive weapons. Frustration will divide their resistance when they are killed in numbers. You general, your defense forces are hardworking, but they need good equipments, medical supplies, military gears, bush survival gears and a good stash of ammunitions. We are anonymous, we see your people do not give money. They are confused who to believe. Crap that bullshit and speak one language. So your own people can start trusting you. If you cannot trust yourself, why should investors trust you? Take it from us, your government in Yang is not going down anytime soon. We have intel the is playing along. The private organizations should be your focus. Win them over. They need to see unity. All different factions can maintain their field positions. Classified operations. We see you. You are doing well. The people of Ambazonians must be free. But one voice, shared intel will promote your revolutions to investor. He says the people of Ambazonia must be free. But one word, one direction, one purpose. Work together. All the leaders are shaking hands together. You know, moving in one direction. Both on ground zero and in the diaspora. Ambazonia will be free. willing to partner with Ambazonians. Time to act is now. You the French, we have been watching you. We are coming for you. You Paul Bia, we have concluded your case already. Be on the watch. We are anonymous are coming for you. We are anonymous. We do not forget. 
He says they are anonymous. They are coming for Paul Bia. They are coming for the for France. They do not forget. They must come. They will come for them and they will send them out. So the only thing we should unite. All the leaders should unite. Unity is what they want because they are prepared to come now to send the French and the you know the French and and even Paul out of our land. But let's unite and show the world that we are united. That is what they are saying. Because this, they told Pope they are not afraid of you, they will come for you. They are telling him direct. Look, we do not forget to expect us. That Pope should expect them. They don't forget. They are coming for him. So we have to unite. Unity. We have been singing this unity. People should unite. You don't want to unite. Unite now. Now is now. Not, not tomorrow. Now. You people should unite. Please unite. The ground forces that already unite. You people should unite the diaspora so that these people can come and help us. We, we free ourselves. They send out these people from, from our land. Okay, that was it. That was it. So this is a school of thought that we have to put in our heads and work on it. Please, IG, work on this. Ground forces, they are there doing their own part. It's remaining us here that we have to do our own part. Okay. Okay, I'm going out to Mr. Ekima. Ekima, the, the ghost, the devil, the Satan. Okay. Protest by Mr or protest by the mayor by the mayor of Boya Ekima Patrick Esunge Esungo the Satan who is killing virgins and burying them in Fako has just organized a post a a a a, 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 a march for peace he has organized his council workers who came out with peace plans on Tuesday, the 31st of July 2018, marching for peace. Which peace is he marching for? He's the only one who knows. There is war going on. He is marching for peace. His own peace there with his, you know, with his own. Council workers. He has organized his council workers who came out with a peace plant on Tuesday, the 31st of July, marching for peace. Ironically, on the other hand, while he came out foolishly, forced his council workers to march, he is organizing. A group of boys to form and give them guns to be going around killing any person who they see supporting independent of Amazonia. A Kema is organizing a group of boys who is going to be giving give them he's going to give them guns to be killing any person that they see. They are supporting the cause of our independence. Guns and other weapons have been stocked in the Kemas resident in Boya. All this is done because Ekima is looking for ways that the forthcoming presidential election should take place in Boya. Obia has given Ekema a lot of monies in order to kill the citizens of Fako, just similar to what Atanganji, who took a lot of monies to kill the people of Menka. Furthermore, this action of Ekema Patrick 
will as he planned might lead to southwest or southern northern zone divide it should be remembered that in the letter one minister wrote to john Mbaako. he insisted that he insisted on the fact that things like this will happen and that the Amazonians should neglect any action they see carrying out by them. In this like, we the Amazonians already closer to our independence, our total independence, call for immediate arrest of Ekema Patrick. Isunge, and the attack of his house and take the guns which are kept in which are kept in there to kill the citizens of Pako in the nearby days. This is very very urgent. A Kemasa should be attacked by the population of Boya and take down the guns because those guns will be used on the citizens of Boya. Where population should stand up against a Kema and seize all the guns. If not, he will, is going to use it against you people. Please take me serious. You should remember that a Kema, Patrick, when this when this crisis started, he was the this this a Kema, the illiterate, was the first person. To take his gun and shut down a boya citizen. He was the first person. So this man is a criminal. He will kill all of you people. Attack his house and take down, take out all those guns. Take it out and turn it against him. And if possible, catch him. They don't think that we have forgotten that he was the first person who killed. To use his gun is to shoot somebody in Boya. One one student. A Kema should be arrested immediately. Once a Kema is arrested, who will be in Boya? Any person who arrests a Kema and hand him over to the self defense forces will be given a sum of three million francs. CFA as his reward or if the person have to dress where he came by it's a particular moment so that the self defense forces can arrest him they give him the money they'll give him three million francs francs CFA please the youths of FACO in general and the boya in particular should not attend any meeting organized by a Kema Patrick Esunge he will call the sacred forces from your own day to eliminate you people as Atanganji did to the youths in Menka who he told them he wants to form a self-defense group and when everyone got that he gave them food and drinks after fooling them with monies to gather and all of them were killed in cold blood the boya people let not be foolish again Amazonas, let not be foolish again please don't go if they call you don't go you people should leave him with his counselors to be there to march in when they go they kill all of them there please i'm begging you people, don't go when they came across because i want they want to do the very thing that happened in Mecca. In the Star Hotel in Mecca, please don't go. We are informing you at once. Because when it happened, let your parents and your, your you know, and your, your relations not start crying. We are just informing you in advance. We want to save lives because we know we'll be in Boya. So they're trying to kill everybody. You know that when we have the independence, there will be no person, they will still come and own the land.
Please, we are informing everybody not to take anything. No use to take anything from Ekema. And all the allies, all the, you know, the allies, the, the chiefs, the mayors, and all the rest. Nothing. You should not take anything from them. Those things are bad. These people think only about themselves. They are taking money from Pobia. They are in the same society of Pobia. They are doing everything only for their personal interest. They have been doing this for 57 years. You people should not be blind. I am begging you people. It is for your future that we are fighting. Our own future has been bad. We pass through the worst future. But we will not accept this future generation to suffer. That is why we are fighting. These people are only thinking only about their own selfish interests. They don't think about people. They will send people, they kill people because they need blood. Because they are in the very sacred societies. As they are killing you, they will become rich. People will be giving the money. Sacred society will be sending the money. Their blood is going. That is how it has been happening for 57 years. When they kill, they kill, they kill people. The blood is, you know, going to the sacred society. The grandmaster is there. He's taking the blood. Phobia is having grounds. They came out and they're they becoming rich. The, you people are dying. Please, Ambazonia, do not take any money given to you by any agent of the Republic. For this money has been poisoned by you. For this money has been poisoned to kill you by the grandmaster. This money has been blessed and poisoned by the grandmaster to kill you. The grandmaster from Delta Malta. If you take this money, you must pay for it with your blood. If you take this money, you will pay for it with your blood. Don't take the money, don't take the gifts, please. It is clear. Do not take anything from the mayor, the elite, the ministers, the parliamentarians, the councillors, the chiefs, the funds who are being sent by Pogopia, all these things, they come to give you, if you take it, you will pay for them with your blood. I'm begging people. Because these people are all in secret societies. They live on blood. And they can give you anything so far as they, they, want, their, they want their blood. So I want you to take it after some time you die. They are out for selfish interest. They will enslave you. They will make you to kill your fellow Amazonians and become again slaves to Phobia and his government and to France. Hence, we will never benefit from our petrol, banana, cocoa, tea, you know, iron ore, gold, timber, etc. Enough is enough. 57 years is enough. The to a wise is sufficient. So, boy, our citizens, take note. Your own genocide is coming now. Because the Northern sinners, that is the Northern zone, paid their own, paid seriously at one time for the use. A Kemana is planning for you. A Kemana is planning for you. Probably arranged it. Everybody must give the blood, share the blood, because he has given the monies. Time is struggling so that blood will happen in his village. And the Manfe, uh, 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 um, Paul Tasson is struggling that they should go and kill all these people in the BLM. Atanganyi Paul is there in Bermuda, struggling, and the chiefs that they should kill all the people. They've they already killed the ones in, you know, in Mecca. They struggling to kill the blood they, because they are working on blood. All of them are in the same society. It's blood they want to kill. So now Ekema is also there, struggling so that they will kill all the poor in Boya. That is how it is functioning. So you push it, take note. We we are already winning. We are already in Boya. And any person who don't take this advice, he will not see the independence. Well, I've given you people as advice. It, it left is it's only left to you people, the youth, to have this in your heads. You should join 
the self defense forces now because the days ahead will be very very terrible and if you don't have their own basoka with you they will kill you easily but if you have your own basoka and you are well blended you will defend yourself they will never kill you so you will sit in and waiting it will be late when you see people are holding guns and shooting everywhere everybody is defending himself you will be just like that you don't even know what to do you are the people who will die so the best thing is to join the struggle and you blend yourself and you are there with our basoka when they shoot you, you are just looking at them, you shoot them, they die. That is what we are hoping all that Bolsuda used to do. If you don't do it, it will be late for you because you are the poor who will be killed. They will not kill those who are having arms because they are already blended, they are fine. Have you heard that they are killing uh, Abbasuda carelessly? That the armies who are dying, when they die, they come and kill the people, the civilians in the town. They come and burn all the houses. So that is just my own advice for the people of Boya and the rest of the people, even in Bamenda. Also in Tico, I heard there was gunshot even in Tico. That was good. Mafe, everywhere, Guti, Konye, everywhere, everybody should be prepared. We have to send them out. We'll fight the war. We'll never give up this, up this fight. Because if we give up this fight, it's terrible. You will heard from the video that they will strike all of us who run and turn Nigeria. The rest of the men they will kill. Because they are planning to kill everybody. I will tell you I will, I will, I will reach for the, the, the when I will reach the other part, I will read you here what's what the plan that they're having. The real plan is coming, the one of the AAC3. Let me just come first to the letter. The letter written by our first lady. So that you people should not hear the content. It's good. You hear the content. Okay. Madame Lilian Ayoktabe writes to the UN Secretary General about her husband. It's an open letter. Adoption, illegal detention, deportation of my husband, Julius Ayoktabe, and 40 six other southern Cameroonians asylum seekers and refugees by the authorities of Cameroon and Nigeria. The letter reads thus. Dear Mr. Secretary General, from the opening moment of your tenure, you are determined to make the promotion of human rights, dignity, the core of your work, and pledge to help alleviate the sufferings of the most venerable people on earth, especially those forcefully displaced from their homes and communities. At your direction, the United Nations has adopted a new approach that recognized the institution's past failure and called for a victim-centered strategy rooted in transparency, accountability, and justice. You have spoken movingly of the plight of victims and describe how their accounts will be hush with will be hush you forever on the 26th july 2018 making the international day in support of victims of torture in any form is absolutely unacceptable and can never be justified in all circumstances including periods of emergency political unrest and even war this is inspired and comforting and gives me and family of victims 
worldwide some hopes some hope however my husband mr julius ayok tabe leader of the people of southern cameroons and scores of other permanent southern cameroonians exiled living in nigeria who were adopted in abuja on the 5th of january 2018 unlawfully deported to cameroon and detained in communicado for six months are still languishing in illegal detention in yaoundé how to the ad ad adoption many of them were working in nigeria as university professors engineers businessmen and legal pract practitioners Others were refugees who recently fled Cameroon government sponsored violence and incipient genocide in the southern Cameroon. This adoption, this adoption and extradition were in flagrant violation of the United Nations declaration of human rights and the apparent continuous silence of the United Nations on this issue called into question the seriousness with which the United Nations takes its commitment to protect the fundamental rights of people everywhere. Mr. President, Mr. Secretary General, Mr. Secretary General, I plead with you to use your good office to compile the government of the Republic to release my husband and all other Southern Cameroon Cameroonians being held illegally in detention centers in Cameroon. and for all government to end the genocide it is carrying out in southern Cameroon. my husband and fellow detainees my husband and fellow detained southern cameroonians leaders have suffered untold hardship tortured cruel inhuman and degrading treatments in detention Mr. Secretary General, at the time of writing the appeal, the appeal at the time of writing the appeal, the government of Cameroon announced that it has commenced has commenced the process of final interrogation of these detainees, after which they will be. Are, are, are arranged, it will be arranged before the military tribunal in Yaoundé. If your office continues to be silenced, the, com the outcome of the tribunal or the outcome of the trial by the military tribunal in Cameroon is pre predicted to parallel the unlawful hanging of King Sarah Wiwa and his nine Ugoni compatriots in Nigeria in 1995 after a similar trial by that nation military tribunal. The inaction of the United Nations to compile to compel the government of Cameroon to respect its commitment under relevant international agreements and conventions it has ratified will send 
the wrong message to nations of the world. That fundamental international regulatory instrument can be violated and erupted with impunity and without penalty. The week of street protests around the globe, including in front of the United Nations headquarters in New York, led by the peace-loving people of Southern Cameroon, which greeted the sad news of my husband, illegal adoption and detention in Nigeria, bear testimony, bear testament to the weight of the responsibility, my, the responsibility Mr. Ayuk Kabe bears as leader of the people of Southern Cameroon. My husband and his um, lieutenants in the Southern Cameroon Revolution are freedom fighters and men of peace who are seeking to free our people from this determined crushes of the felonious vampiric political mess that is Cameroon. My husband and his colleagues are striving to restore dignity to the people of Southern Cameroon by restoring their fundamental rights and freedom as human beings. I thank you for your time and hopefully look forward to your response. Sincerely, Yian Ayoktabe, Madam. So that was a letter. It's a good letter. We pray and we beg, you know, the Secretary General to take to consideration seriously this letter because the Republic of Cameroon had no right to judge foreigners in their courts because Ambazonians are foreigners and they had no right, they were having no right to extradite people from one country to another when they don't have the extradition treaty signed between those countries. And furthermore, they don't have any right to judge civilians in military tribunals. So United Nations, you should do your part because it seems this silence that you have been for quite a long time, even though the genocide is going on, you are working with the Republic of Cameroon, Phobia. We are praying that you should change. Take the lead. Do what you have to do because the United Nations is for the whole of the nations. It's not for a particular person. We are begging you to come into the crisis in Amazonia and solve the crisis, crisis once and for all. So that we will never have a genocide of crisis. You should stop keeping quiet. It will not help you. I will not help the other countries in the future. This will, will put a question sign on the United Nations. Why is it the United Nations? Is it a divided nation or United Nations? This is not a question sign. It's left for you to answer. You people in the security councils, you people who are there, Secretary General, it's left for you to answer. Okay, that was a letter. We appreciate the letter also, Madam. It's honorable, Madam Liliana Yok. Tabe. We appreciate your letter. Okay, I will come now to, you know, the reasons, very important. This is very important, listen very well. The reasons why we should not accept the AAC3 by Cardinal Tumi. It's not welcoming. We have already passed the level of talking about Anglophone conferences. We tried it. 
1994, 1995, it did not work. All our phone conferences one, all our phone conferences two, it did not work. So it is an it's a forgot alternative. We don't cannot come back to it. But now I'll tell you the reasons. I will read it from here. Then you will know the reason. Then you will know what is the real purpose for that conference. The hidden part behind the conference. I will bring it to you out. I will bring it out to you now. Okay. The Amazonians must not accept the All Anglophone Conference 3. For we are not Anglophones. It is an insult to call us Anglophones. Every Amazonian knows that it's an insult. That is how they have been calling us Anglophones. 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 So it is even an insult. So let's just forget anything as Ang all Anglophone Conference. We are not Anglophones. We are Amazonians. If it was all Amazonian Conference, we would have said, okay, Mr. Kandatini, you can say something. So if he wants that issue hold, let him go back and change it and put it all Abazonia conference. We know that it's a conference concerning the northern zone and the southern zone. Okay. That is a information to add that to me. So you should know that we are not Anglophones, but we are Anglo-Saxon. We are Anglo-Saxon, not Anglophones. Christian Cardinal Tumi has convened all Anglophone Conference, as he calls it. All Anglophone Conference 3. But before Cardinal Tumi announced his so called All Anglophone Conference 3 on the 24th of July 2018, Cardinal Tumi, this Dr. Simon Munzu, Peter Mafani Musonge met in a meeting hosted by French ambassador and the, the Republic government officials, including Joseph Betty Asomo, Asomo, Cameroon minister delegate in charge of defense. The person who was attacked. When Arai Kumbe are also attacked in Bamenda, he was also in that conference. Imagine. The person who, has, who is sending that to kill every person is in Amazonia. He was in the conference. Yes. There was also Ferdinand Ngo Ngo, Secretary General of the Republic Presidency. There was also French ambassador to Cameroon. The French ambassador to Cameroon. And French military expert in that conference this is how it started before kanatumi came up with the all anglophone conference three listen we now have some information on what was planned in that meeting the truth is that cardinal christian kanatumi was sent to use his office as a clergyman and his respectable personality in Ambazonia to stop the Ambazonia fighters, to stop the Ambazonians fighting, fighting groups by calling them to lay down their arms. Mr. Kadnatumi was asked to do the following. Ambazona listing to call on all Ambazonia fighting groups to hand over their arms, their weapons, in order to create an atmosphere of dialogue that everybody should carry his arms like a fool and pass it over to the armies of the Republic in order to create an atmosphere of dialogue. They thought we were fools. <laughs> Hadibi would do that. We can do that type of thing. They would just kill all of us. Just <laughs> right now we don't have any arms. <laughs> they are mad. Secondly, Ambazonia leadership 
will only be free, will only be set free when Ampazonia fighters lay down their arms and surrender to the Republic forces. This is what this is what took place in the meeting, secret meeting they held first before Kadatubu came now and said all Angophone Conference 3. To know that Kadatubu is the one of the highest devil on earth. People will say we don't talk to him. He is he God? He's not God. A person who, has, who is planning that he should kill us again, he should sell us as slaves, that, that he felt that everybody should run to go to, go to Nigeria. I'm telling you, Kadatubu is a criminal. Tell me, to call on all Anglophones to accept Federation as the only solution, the form of Federation presented by the French government. This is the form of Federation presented by the French government in France. In France, eh? not the one in Cameroon, eh? presented by the French government. Which plan that northwest region to be administered from Pafusam? Northwest region, that is northern zone, that is Bamenda, should be under Pafusam. Pafusam will be the, the headquarters of Bamenda so that they will be controlled here. In, when when Pafusam says something, they say yes, sir. Yes, sir. As we'll be saying always to the Republic for 57 years. Then southwest region that is southern zone of Amazonia will be a minister from Douala so that Douala will become will become a slave master to Douala that is part of the, the discussion the discourse before Kadak Tumi could come and announce his AAC3 you must listen this is very important and uh, as you are listening share 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 so the whole Amazonia should know this share 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 hence we the Ambazonians will be come total slaves and documents will be signed and elimination of all the Ambazonians from history and from the map. Thus, this all Anglophone Conference 3 is only way, is the only way that Kadnatumi and Dr. Simon Munzu and the others clergymen will facilitate the way of the Republic French government so as to kill our fighters and claim finally our country, our land, and to wipe us out of the map. Adiatumi and Simon Munzo and the clergymen. They were planning a very bad thing for us. They were planning a very bad thing for us. AAC3, All Anglophone Conference 3, is planned to kill our fighters. This is an evil plan. Plan states that all those seeking independence, that is what is written, all those seeking independence of Abadona should be killed. Only federalists should be spared and discussed with the plan. Have already been made to kill Sisoko. Plans have already been made to kill Sisoko, as we are saying. Plans are already been made to kill Sisoko and other leaders who are held in Comunicado by making Ambazonia fighters hand over their weapons and surrender. Plans have been made to kill Sisoko. Once they hand over the weapons and surrender, they take all the weapons, don't have anything. They just kill Sisoko, kill everybody, just start killing all the, you see? Then everybody will escape to Nigeria, some will run, some will kill the rest. You see, that, that, will, that is the plan of AAC3. It will all it will open the front from the Republic government 
and from France to kill our leaders. And Barcelona should not forget our slogan. One for all, all for one. Christian Kajima Tumi and Dr. Simon Muzu are all federalists. The power of Amok and Resecution is in them and can never again work against us. Can never and ever again work against us. God has poured his blessing on Abbasgan in, in the way that no person can convince us again. Even the king might just win his time. We we'll want to pick him, we'll pick him up. We'll pick him up. We'll take all those, those arms he has kept in his house. We'll own it before elections comes. We'll own all the arms and use it on, on that complete. We'll because probably send those arms and come and kill us. Okay. The power of Amok or Resecution in them can never again work against the people of Abazonia in the mighty power of God. Amen. Killing Abazonia is the agenda of France and La Republic Cameroon. The goal is to put fear as a killing Abazonians, is to put fear in the hearts of the other African countries who are speaking for a genuine independence. They are putting fear as they are killing us, let the other countries be afraid, countries which are francophonic, which France is there, they are colonial master of France, so that they can be afraid they will not ask for their own independence. Therefore, no Ambazona should attend this evil plan called AAC3, All Anglophone Conference Call 3, which will take place ending of September. Please, this is the message. Forward the message ahead. For the message ahead. Nothing, even good, from it for the Amazonians. This AAC 3 can never bring anything good for the Amazonians. It will send us back to the 1961. Who will become against slave and this one it will be worst because documents will be signed that we can never we we'll just become slaves and we we'll lost our land we'll lost an, an identity because we know for long for 57 years they don't know that people exist that english people even exist that abazonians exist in Cameroon. i am a week a, a living testimony i went everywhere i went germany holland everywhere i went i said i said i'm from but Cameroon is a french country that's why i must be i said yeah, i'll start explaining to them this is, and if we happen to accept this conference to hold and they try to even reason a bit, we are gone. So the conference is to block the conference. We'll bomb the hall. The day of the conference, we'll bomb the hall, throw a bomb, grenade, scatter everything. Kill all them, kill them, not to me, kill everybody that goes there. Kill, kill even the generals, kill everybody. It is time. It will be worse. The conference will not hold. It is also a trap that has been set to arrest the remaining leaders of the Abazonians and the Abazonian activists. It is time for all Abazonians fighters to prepare to defend motherland and our people on ground zero. The IG and all the Amazonians should direct all funds, medicine, medical cares, everything, all the aids, all the aids towards the fighters on Ground Zero. It is not everything should go back to the fighter on Ground Zero. Any sport you have, direct fighter on Ground Zero. Let's forget about the refugee, forget about paying people in Europe here, yeah. paying people, you pull in this way, move up and down, 
steal the money a bit, bit by bit. The money that is coming to you know everything should go down to the fighters. They are doing the they are the only the, the struggle. You stop talking about the radio station, the SDBC, and the rest spending money for them. No, everything. Let's forget about the radio station. Everything down to them. Please, I'm begging. All ambassadors to say no. All ambassadors to say no to AAC3. Any person who attend the meeting must be killed. Maybe is the candidate to me will arrest him if he attend the meeting. Then Munzu, we are planning him. He already have an arrest one warrant. We are we are going to arrest any person that attend that meeting. Thanks to everybody. Thanks to all the Amazonians. Long live the state of Amazonia. Short live the struggle. May God bless all the civilian forces on Ground Zero. Prince Ayamba, Mr. Hope, so always come constantly to give you what he can contribute also from Paris. So have a nice day. Be blessed. Pray. Have hopes. Hopes must take us to Boya. Hope is the only thing that keeps somebody living. Even somebody who is sick in the hospital, once he has hopes, he gets well. But if he loses his hopes, he will die. Okay, thanks to everybody.